to my channel um, everything Martha crafts and more and today I am going to do the Christmas bicycle wreath form wreath and I'm super excited I think it's going to be a beautiful wreath and um, I bought pretty much everything at the Dollar Tree except the only thing I didn't get at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using is some 3d paint and the hot glue and I think that's it. Everything else is from the Dollar Tree, you guys. And I think it's going to be just about $8. And so I think we are going to be able to create a beautiful wreath with just $8, which is fantastic. And so I'm going to go ahead and start this DIY. I hope that you stay tuned and watch it and that you like it and share it with your friends. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Stay, uh, stay tuned and take good care. Bye. Okay guys, so here's what I'm going to be using for my wreath, my Christmas wreath. And if I get anything else along the way that I might have forgotten, I will show you that. But for now, I think all I'm needing is a hot glue gun. I bought this garland at Dollar Tree. And it is 15 feet, so I got that. I am going to be using this Crafter Square vinyl paper. I love that color. Isn't that beautiful? It's in like a frosted pink. And um, I bought three colors of these mi miniature ornaments. And I got it in the frosted pink, silver, and red. And I got that ba those berries right there. I'm going to be using this puffy 3D white paint. And I might use this little Merry Christmas sign that I have from the Dollar Tree, which I have for a couple years now, and maybe some of this red ribbon. I also found this garland uh, made of little silver pine cones, and I have these little jingle bells from before. I also bought a bicycle wheel wreath ring. I'm going to be using that, and a Let It Snow wooden sign also from Dollar Tree and it's from Greenbrier. I think that's it you guys. I think that's all I'm going to be using. So let's get started with this Christmas wreath. Okay you guys and I'm going to start working with the wooden sign and this beautiful frosted pink adhesive plastic paper that um, I got at Dollar Tree. I really couldn't believe it. It's vinyl paper. It's beautiful. And I traced all the letters from the wooden sign onto the back of the vinyl paper. And now I'm cutting out the letters. And um, I am going to do it in three pieces so that it's easier for me to handle and easier for me to go ahead and glue. So I've cut all the letters as you can see on my right and I started using the smaller scissors as well because it was just easier to manage them as I cut through the vinyl sheet. And as you can see I'm peeling off the back because it has adhesive but I'm still going to add some tacky glue to the wood so that I have no issues with it coming off since it's going to be outside I do not want the humidity to start to peel off the vinyl sheet so this tacky glue will give it an extra security. done with the letters now I'm just doing the last one I'm adding the tacky glue to it and that will be it for the sign doesn't that look pretty I really love this vinyl sheet it looks almost like um, I don't know like a textured um, 
glittery paint it's beautiful now i'm going to use some 3d white paint and i'm going to do the whole snowflake with that i love the fact that it just has a raised um, look to the paint and that will look really pretty with the snowflake i'm going to go ahead and finish that now dry now and I'm going to start working with the garland that I got at Dollar Tree and with the bicycle wreath form. This has a this garland has a wire in the center so it's really easy to work with. You can just secure it around the form and i'm going to be bringing it in and out through the different sections so that i could twirl it around the exterior part of the wreath and i'm going to go ahead and be pushing it in through one side turning it around and then pushing it in again just till I go around the entire wreath. And that's it you guys, I went around the entire wreath and as you can see, the wire that's inside the garland makes it really easy to secure it so I don't need to use any hot glue for that and I really like the way that turned out so next I'm going to be cutting pieces of the garland to the length of each of the rods that go through the center of the wreath and I'm gonna secure it in the top and in the center to cut pieces and um, cover each of the rods until I'm done with the entire wreath. time to work with the garland made out of um, pine cones they're small pine pine cones and they are painted in silver and um, it was really very good to have this because I cut the little pine cones it has a wire connecting pine cone to pine cone so I was able to cut and leave a piece of wire on each side of the cone and just secure it around the wreath again without having to use any hot glue which was really good and so aside from that i had a lot of the wire left over between pine cone and pine cone and i was able to use that wire to secure the ornaments to the wreath as well so that wire came in really handy start working with the ornaments now and I'm using the wire from the pine cones and just inserting it through the hoop 
of the ornament and securing it to the uh, wreath as well. I was really happy not to have to use hot glue for this step of the wreath. So I take a piece of the wire and I just put it through the hoop of the ornament just like if you were threading a needle. So I remembered that I have a lot of these little lights that I have bought at Dollar Tree that comes with the battery pack and I'm going to use one of them on this wreath. I just want to make sure that the part of the pack that you open is to the top in case you ever want to change the batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue and place the battery pack right in the middle of the wreath and then I'm going to, once it's dry, I'm going to in, take the cable with the lights and push it through the front, through one of the openings in the wreath. So there's an item that I fail to tell you that you're going to be needing. I have these Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use three of them to glue it to the center of the wreath so I could glue the wooden sign to that. So I'm going to make sure that I place these strategically so that when I place the sign on top of them they don't show. So there we go. And that I'm just gonna hot glue to the wreath. I'm going to put plenty of glue to the back of the Jenga block and just hold it down until it's dry and place them exactly where they need to go. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue to cut pieces of wire from the pine cone garland and I'm going to start adding as many ornaments as I like on this wreath and I'll just continue to add ornaments until I think that it looks nice. And so now my Jenga blocks are dry and I'm adding hot glue to the top of the Jenga block so I can place my let it snow sign on it and hold it down until it's dry. Now 
last time to work with these pit berries. They have a little bit of glitter on them and the color is so pretty. I just love it. I'm gonna cut a few of the stems from this um, from the berries and I'm gonna place some on the top of the garland and in the bottom of the garland as well. I'm using both hot glue and some of the wire from the garland to secure the pit berries to the wreath. Now it's time to start positioning the lights where I want them and I'm going to try and go around the whole wreath and have a little bit of light all around it. And I decided to go with the red lights. I did have some clear and I had some blue but I really thought that the red would just look really pretty with this wreath. And there it is. And there it is, you guys. I am done with the wreath. It is really pretty. I love the colors on it, the red and silver and frosted pink ornaments. I did add a piece of that glittery ribbon to the top so I could hang the wreath. And here it is without the lights on. And here it is with the lights on. I did add a little jingle bell to the center of the snowflake, which gives it a really nice added touch. And here it is on my door in the afternoon. I love the way that it looks against the wood with the pine cones and the pit berries. And this adhesive uh, vinyl paper is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to show you how it looks also at night with the lights on at my door. I only spent around $9 to do this wreath, you guys, and I think it's beautiful. Nobody would be able to tell that um, these are all Dollar Tree items. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun making it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao now!